He stabbed me. He went in deeper. This is how I'm gonna die. I got stabbed in the neck by my brother-in-law. I've been with my husband since we were 18. My husband's brother, I really got close to him. It was like a big sister that he never had. But with the years, he just changed. And he became addicted to a crystal meth. He's getting more aggressive. And it was always against me. He would come out and say some stuff like, you stupid bitch, what are you looking at? There was a time he spit in my face. I remember that day. I picked up the girls from school, picked up my son. My son was five, the middle child was 10, and my oldest child was 15. We started watching a movie. I was with my kids, with my husband. And we're just having a regular night. My brother-in-law starts coming in. He said there was cameras in the house and that we were spying on him. Then he stands right in front of me. His eyes were glossy. I think he was on something. I didn't even see his hand going like this. It happened so fast. All I feel is him stabbing me in my neck. Then he went in deep, like, Boom! When he went in deeper, I just felt my whole body go warm. And all I hear is ah, like my kids screaming. And I felt little by little my breath go more faint. My husband started fighting with my brother-in-law and got stabbed seven times. The 10 year old, she got her iPad and she started recording for evidence. There's blood splatter everywhere. My oldest child went to get the phone. She was calling 911. The five-year-old, he ran to the room. He went to get a band-aid and I heard a little voice and it said, Mommy, breathe. Mommy, breathe. And the paramedic got me. I was in an induced coma when I woke up. Thank you for all the prayers. Thank you for all the support to everybody. I'm okay. Mario was there. My husband, I mean, he's perfectly fine. Where he stabbed me was my C1, C2 vertebrae. The doctors told me that I'm not gonna be able to walk. I'm not even gonna be able to breathe without a ventilator. The therapy was daily. It took a couple months, but little by little, my body started reacting, started getting stronger. And now I could stand up on my own. I could go to the bathroom on my own and I'm cooking on my own. Cause you see me smiling, you see me cooking. It doesn't mean I'm okay. I'm gonna be the one paying for this for the rest of my life. I don't trust him. I feel like he would hurt somebody else. I didn't forgive him. But today I'm able to do my YouTube and make my cooking videos. She's back in the kitchen, y'all's queen. Being a survivor to me is just finding a place in your heart, in your soul to not give up. I am seeing, are you?